Channel 72 News with the 16 personalities. Hello and welcome back to Channel 72 News. Tonight, a horrifying traffic jam on the E5 motorway forces thousands to be late for work and an update on that elephant situation. Stay tuned for those stories and more. Cut! Why were there typos on the teleprompter again? And we're back. Wow, that was quite the story, wasn't it? It sure was, Lisa. If you spot any thieves operating in your area, make sure to report them by the number on the screen. Ah, oh, well, that guy in the last story wasn't really a thief, was he? Uh, that's what the whole story was about. He was just taking what he needed to to support his family. What's she doing? He's a bit like Aladdin, isn't he? Or Robin Hood? Oh, Catherine, you sure know how to make a good joke. Catherine, stick to the teleprompter. Give us a call and let us know. Is your family going hungry at the hands of our highly competent political leaders? Are you grateful? Catherine, the fact that you and I discussed this topic at length over beers last night does not give you permission to talk about it on live TV. And what of the children? I think it might be time to bring back the baby chickens again. Jerry? What? Bring back the baby chickens again. Cut to a commercial break. Now hang on, I want to hear more about this. Can someone please tell Lisa that I can't bring the baby chickens out until they finish their bath time? Government control, capitalism, human oppression. These are the foundations upon which our society is built. Who wants to see me dance? <coughs> our next guest is the esteemed chef Frances Evans. Please join me in giving her a warm welcome. Hello Frances. Hello Sharon, it's lovely to be here. So I believe today you're going to be making a very special dish for us. Frances will be making her world famous blue falafel rainbow cake. Yes, your number one nationally ranked blue falafel rainbow cake with a side of bitter cynicism. You know, like the Teletubbies. Um, I don't know how to make that. <laughs> Who let Amy near the teleprompter again? I suppose I could whip up a cake and I mean, I have made falafel before so I suppose I could improvise. Um, Ah, uh, excuse me? What is it? Just about this story that you're about to go live with, it's full of misinformation. What do you mean? Well, this statistic here is fake. I looked it up and the source is illegitimate. Also, the story is completely one-sided, not to mention you've entirely left out the shopping cart incident of 1973. This isn't your job. I know, but we're the news. Don't we have an obligation to tell people the truth? <laughs> How naive. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll push the story till tomorrow, but you're writing me a new one. Scott, we're pulling number five. Cue the story of the gerbil. And stay tuned, because after this commercial break, I'll be sitting down to tea with... The world's most intelligent gerbil. Cut! I'm not doing that. And another bank robbery has occurred downtown. Cutting now to Danielle, who's on the scene. My first day as a big shot reporter. Sorry, we appear to be having some technical difficulties. Danielle, can you hear me? I can't wait to really make a difference in the world. Danielle? Okay, it appears that we have dead air. Perhaps we should cut. I don't want to cross the crossing early teeth for weather. Going live in three, two, and I don't one. Wanna... The weather. The factor that's going to make or break your day. Let's dive in. Local weather reports say that there won't be rain for over a year, but I drought it. And it's holiday season, which means that there are gifts all around. 
and no one better to display the Christmas cheer than this puppy wearing a Santa hat and giving gifts to small children. <laughs> He's got a little Christmas stocking. He's so small. <laughs> Megan, can I get some emotion on your face, please? <laughs> And in Cairns today, oh, nope. And in Cairns today, there's gonna be a thunderstorm with a top of 20. Wow, from this angle, it kind of looks like there's a bunny. See, there's like the head up here and the tail down here. <laughs> anyway, um, <sighs> what's going on? So, so in this area, as you can see, there's just sort of a general sort of build up of of weather symbols and there's also more over here. Oh, she's lost her place on the teleprompter. Who's the prompter? I wonder if that guy in the IT department has noticed me yet. You know what? Why don't you all just go outside and take a look at the sky for yourselves? Can someone please tell Lisa that I can't bring out the baby chickens until I finish my my bath time? <laughs> Did I finish my bath time? It's been a terrible summer for Humpty Dumpty, but he had a great fall. And a recent study has shown that people using umbrellas are more likely to be under the weather. And local authorities have reported that cows like to lie together in the rain to keep each other dry. <laughs> Uh, yes, hello, news people. <laughs> wow, from this angle, it kind of looks like my third grade teacher's face. Wow, from this angle, it kind of looks like the existential crisis that I face every night before I go to sleep. Wow, from this angle, it kind of looks like a green screen. Coming up with weather puns is a breeze.